Diaz and welcome back to another video, my friends. I hope you're staying healthy and I hope you're staying safe wherever you are in the world. Today on the channel, I wanna get more into IPB and IPB Lite, or also known as IPB Standard and IPB Lite on the Canon EOS R6. Okay, now that we are out of the muck, so I am going to give you some test footage. So a couple videos ago, I actually talked about um, how the Canon EOS R6 had a firmware update. And one of those firmware updates was introducing IPB Lite. Now IPB Lite is just, just that, a lighter version of IPB Standard, which in essence has a lower bit rate. Now, some might say, that's lower quality, Pablo, that's lower resolution, and that just might be the case. However, the thing is, for your needs, can you tell? And that's what I wanna to provide to you, a lot of different samples. So the samples that I wanna show you today are gonna to be shot at 4K 60, 30, and 24 at both standard and IPB light and also introduce samples in 1080p in 60, 24, and also 30. So what did you guys think? That was 4K at 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second, and 24 frames per second at both IPB Standard and IPB Lite. I don't know, how did you do? Do you think that you could tell the difference? Let me know down in the comments if you really saw a big difference between the two or what was your reasoning? Was there grain in a shot? Was there just something that set one off from the other? Let me know down in the comments. All right, let's move on to full HD or 1080p in 60, 30, and 24 frames per second.
what did you think about that? That was Full HD or 1080p, 60 frames per second in both standard and light, and also 30 frames and 24 frames per second in both standard and light. Did you have a preference between either one? Did you like one again because uh, it was clearer, it was more dynamic per se, perhaps there was less grain in the image. I mean, it's a pretty nice, well-lit day, so if anything, we might be a little blown out on some shots here or there, so. But what did you think? I really, I'm really sold on IPV light. Doesn't mean that I'm gonna use it every time, but in a pinch or where I might need it and be able to utilize the benefits of IPV light, which are uh, lower file sizes and rendering in or working with these types of files within your software program for video editing, that also might be a benefit to you. Doesn't have to be something you use all the time, but know that you have it built in to your camera if you've updated your Canon EOS R6. So the reality is, or the bottom line is, that bitrate is being affected here by utilizing IPB light. And bitrate is just the amount of data that you have in every video file. So know that that's gonna happen. Know that you still have IPB standard, which is a great video file, but I would suggest trying IPB light. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like this video if you liked any part of it. And until the next one, I love y'all. Peace. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Just try it out. That's, that's all I'm trying to say. All right, I'm out of here.